As Hurricane Ian approaches Florida, many people are preparing for the worst. That includes someone who used to live in the state line. Nikkel Delgado talked with her today. Nikkel, what's she doing to get ready? Eric, Mimi, the Stillman Valley graduate and her husband were told that they had to evacuate their home this morning. While they're doing everything they can to prepare, she says it doesn't feel real. We're evacuated from our house. So my husband's taking our dog up to our friend's house that lived north of us. And I'll be at, down at the hospital. So hopefully we have a house on Friday. Ellie Cole grew up in the Rockford area. Her and her husband moved to Florida about five years ago and just bought their first house in January. This will be the first hurricane the Midwest couple will experience. A lot of like my friends that are from here, there hasn't been a bad hurricane here in like 50 years. So they don't remember. Like they don't. So everyone's kind of unsure. Ellie tells me she and her husband took all the necessary precautions before the storm hits. They spent the weekend putting up hurricane shutters on the windows. Sandbags are stacked next to the outside doors, along with towels and sheets stuffed into any open crack. My parents are in Rockford, and they graciously are ready to come down Friday if we need it with the truck, and they've got a big trailer. And So if something happens to our house, they're going to come. Help us clean up. Ellie is a nurse at the hospital there, and while she believes she and her husband will be okay, she will be on lockdown in the hospital during the storm. She's concerned about the homeless people she regularly sees and if they will be able to find shelter. I still worry because my patients aren't always able to participate and have access to like cell phones and stuff, so I worry where some of them are going to be. Along with getting their house ready, they also made sure to fill up their cars with gas. Ellie tells me it took them five different gas stations to find enough gas to fill up. Mimi?